Uh, you, with the DLC, you get one of every tree stand. You still you can purchase some more, but yeah, you get one of every as part of the DLC. Right. So we've already got the one. Let's have a look all the way down. Yep. So you get six total, three tree stands and three tripods. So we got the Incognito Deluxe Tree Stand Arctic, the conifer and the timber. Okay, those are cool. Tripods, we got the Arctic, conifer and timber. So those are the three variations. I think I remember them saying that on the live stream. 16,000 credits. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely want to look <laughs> after these. Yep, they're expensive. Why is that in relation to the blinds? Okay, so it's double the price of, of a, a waterfowl blind. Layout blind is also 16,000. 8,000 for a ground blind. We've obviously got, for everybody at home, by the way, welcome back to Call of the Wild. I'm not sure if you know about the intro of what you've seen for this video, just in case you don't. Today, as of the time of me and Taco recording this video, there was a brand new clue that went out for Call of the Wild. And what you heard at the beginning of this video is that new clue. That was a wolf, and no one else can tell me otherwise. You ready to roll? Ready to go. Right, okay, so in this update, there's been quite a few changes. Some stuff that people may not know about. Obviously, there's the tree stands, which we are going to test as soon as possible. We've also got the tripods, which I'm thinking, Taco, should we go to Savannah? I'll go to the Savannah, and you see that, you know that tall grass? This is the kind of first thing that popped into my mind when I was watching the stream. Like, you know, putting the tripods in that tall grass where you it's really difficult to see where the lions are. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yep, for the tripods, that'd be a good spot. Yeah, it'd be a good indicator of how much you can see over that grass line. So we can do that with that. Female elk nice. down there Female. towards the west, yep. So I think, should we start with that then? Should we go and take a look and see if we can find any, uh, any cool elk? And then yeah. kind of end things up with switching to the tree stands, tripods, and then maybe hop over to the savannah and take a look at the tripods. Like, having our own servers with this game, how good yeah. would that be? Oh my god, like, if you if you are able to have your own server and, like, play around with the settings and stuff and things like that, I just, honestly, all I'd want it for is just to get rid of the rain. I hate it. Right? <laughs> I Kill the rain. I can't stand the rain. It's so loud, and I totally get it why it's in the game. It comes at the most inopportune time. That's it, it yeah. Is, it's, it's always the same. It's whenever we're trying to have, like, a detail come Like, now, look. We've st now we've, we start talking about it. He stopped. Yep. It's like, oh, you're talking about me? Let me go away. <laughs> so you can talk wrong. about Look, me. Look, I'm yeah. quiet. I'm quiet. I'm not even here. <laughs> oh, there we go, Teko. First couple of elk that we've seen. We got a level three and a le two level threes. One with a higher trophy trophy rating on the left. I would have thought that one looked a bit a bit cooler to be honest, but that one obviously you can see it's got much more variation. Yep, it's right. got a uh, longer kinds up higher. It's got more of it, hasn't it? Yep. Oh, we've got a third. Right, I'm going to throw out some scent elim, just in case. Yep. So, one thing that I'm interested to know is with this reduced hunting pressure, is that solely with the hunting structures? So, things like the tree stands, or, you know, anything like that, or is it just as a, an effect of everything, there will be reduced hunting pressure all over the board to make things easier for, you know, if they have changed it? I would hope it would be just if you're in a tree stand or a blind or something that that promotes the use of those more. Number one and number two, it, it you know it'd be more truth to it, and more you know the fact that you're not spotted firing, you know, and getting you know alerting as much as many animals around you as you're firing. Yeah, no, that makes so, sense. I would hope it's just it just yeah it works if if you're actually shooting out of one of those. Like I said, it'll help promote use, using those more often because, in all honesty, I wasn't that excited about this DLC yeah, out of all the DLC. Tell people at home about that because I have had a few questions about especially in our Discord. There's been a few people that were saying like, why wasn't Taco excited about the tree stands and tripods and stuff? I don't think people understand why you weren't, but it's mainly the fact that you didn't use them really, did you? So, No, with the way this game plays, because it's a game. This is They consider this a, a hunting game, not a hunting simulator. Uh, uh, the Hunter Classic is more of a hunting simulator. And uh, so it wasn't really necessary. Even, it, you know, if uh, you want to just roam around slowly, like how we play, 
we don't really sprint everywhere and just shoot everything but we we don't you can just butt up against a tree and go invisible if you wanted to you don't need a blind to do that yeah like what we're and doing those now. just weigh you down mm-hmm. yeah exactly what we're doing now um so the whole idea of them introducing tree stands to something that didn't really need it in my opinion it was that's where that's so my excitement wasn't there but then the fact that they included the fact or that there's reduced hunting wow. pressure if you're hunting out of them i like that idea then yeah. it kind of promotes it more to use them makes it worth not it, that i really it? will because you still don't necessarily need them so i'm still not that stoked about them yet for me you have this the same impact for this is the same impl- impact for the the standard blinds we find around the reserves for me i just don't use them and i never really have i think i've been in blinds um like what four or five times tops and most of that was on mm-hmm. savannah just because of i was trying to stake out for lions do you hear that call, Taco? No, you don't hear the call. Oh, and guess what? The callers are reversed again. You know how they, they patch oh. that? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> look, I'm blowing out the end of Wait, it. Wait, are, are the binoculars? Wait, look at this. Are they back to nope, front? No, binoculars are good. You're, okay. you're, on them. you're not looking through them, though. No, no, I'm not looking through them yet. No, no. Right, yeah, so those are good. Level three. Level three. Both definitely got... Wow, that is so loud. <laughs> All right. Should go and do a, a shot on each one of them? Yeah, let's do that. All right, you got the right one? Yep. Three, got two, him. one, go. Tango's down. I wonder if that third one's going to come in. Oh, yep, Apex. there's one down there. Oh, <gasps> dude. That's got an, a nice... Ooh, look what at would that. you say? Level right, four, you so say sombrero, cool. don't you, for moose? Moose, yeah. So, what room. would you call an elk? <laughs> I want a cool word, rack. like oh, no, no, just, that's just not cool rack. enough. That's not cool enough. Yeah, no, uh, we need like look, a, a different name for the elk now. They've got like, look at the coat, coat rack. <laughs> I don't know because they're not that, that big. Right, there you go. Put the big, look at the chandelier no. on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you want? Do you want chandelier or coat rack? Yeah, let's do let's do chandelier. Chandelier, chandeliers are big. Yeah. What have we got? Have we got a big difference in the two of them? It definitely looks a lot more different than the uh, than the white tail and black tail had. Yeah, I like these better. I was more excited about these bigger animals, so these bigger deer, um, just for the fact that uh, I can feel you can feel like the antlers are going to be more unique, especially the red deer. I'm really excited. About oh those. yeah, those will be very very cool. I don't know that I like these though. I've got to admit, I didn't. I didn't think I'd be too excited about these, but the antlers on these guys, they do look very, very cool. Especially that one you've got there, the, the back bit, the back section. I like how dark they are, how dark red they are, and then brown into brown. Yeah, the different coloration on them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this guy's got like pretty simple, pretty simple antlers, but then when you get up close to it, you can see the detail on it. And then like the back of it, it looks like, um, you know those choppers, those motorbikes you can get with the big handles? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like that. With the high rise handlebars. Yep. <laughs> so this guy hasn't got much of a chandelier. <laughs> See that? He's already using it, dude. It's already yep, thing. I like it. Right. Confirm. Chandelier works for these. Let's have a look. So, oh, my consecutives are at eight there. All right. Male, 381.4 kilograms. Straightforward stuff. Three very easy. 100, 100, 80. Trophy rating of 165. So, if we go to true score, I don't know if you want to do this at the same time as me, Taco, so you can kind of see the differences, like in uh, in the information. True score, so main beam length for mine was 96.3. What was yours? 90.7. Okay. What about length of tines? 60.6. Wait, did you say 60.6? Yep. Mine's 34.7. What's your circumference? 35.4. 34.6. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 point with two brow tines so why doesn't it tell you how overall. many tines it has i wonder why that is i don't know that I, I i would like that i'd love to have it actually count the tines or give you a, a, a time number even if it doesn't count it in the score i'd love to see a time count that way i don't have to go through and count them like i just did there like i said it has eight tines with two brow or uh eye guard right let's see yep. if we can grab ourselves another one i want to know if that level four is still in the area oh is that a wolf or a coyote, Taco? Score. Hold up. Coyotes. All right, don't don't panic. All right, we're good for now. I don't have to get my Liam Neeson on. We're safe. Oh. Safe at the moment. You know, I've I, I've watched that movie. 
No, I'm totally lying. Dude, I was so <laughs> excited that I was going to talk to you about it and everything. What are you do Why are you doing this? Taco, my apex sixth sense has come upon me and it's telling me that I should smack this guy from here. Do it. All right, here we go. 50, 75. Go down, go down, go down, go down. There we 50, go. 50, 75 down. as well. Do yours survive? Mine's down. Nice. The uh, the does were quite far back behind them, weren't they? No, nope. they weren't. They were close. That's all right. Yeah, they, they were. They were just on the other side. Of the the berm. Do you there. remember what oh, happened when oh. we last walked through some Roosevelt elk does? Oh, we got trampled. Didn't yeah. We? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is going to be next for uh, True Rack? Because with their plan is with every big patch or with every patch, uh, minus, minus like the minor fixed patches, to bring they're going to drop a new True Rack. Yep. Yeah. Um. What do you think the next one will be? Something else like it on Leighton Lake, or do you think they're going to move into uh, Hirschfelden? Because I know they want to stick with the two main maps, just so everybody utilizes or can actually access these uh, true racks. Yeah, the original people maps, that don't yeah. have the DLC. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't I'm know. You know I kind of you... want Red Deer. I'm not going to lie. I think the I think like what you said before, the Red Deer would be incredible just because of how they look when you find a high level one. Yeah, well, Red Deer will be able to transfer over to two different maps, too, because it's be able to go down to Fernando, right? Yeah. This dude's got a really nice chandelier, Taco. Right. Let's claim it. Let's have a look at him. Oh, that is cool. Ooh, that is a wreck. He was a gold. I don't have 100% uh, consecutive yet, so... So we have a male, 465.11 kilograms, fur type common, level 4. I've got something creeping up on my left. It's probably the does, isn't it? And that I'm going to die now. I can feel it. <laughs> Trophy rating of 305.4. 100, 100, 100. A score of 918. And where did we hit him? Double pen. Pretty good score in elk. Right, let's have a look at the, the true score. So we got main beam length. 139.2. The left side was 69.58. The right side was 69.62. So not a massive difference, but enough for you to notice. Length of tines, 55.95, 55.98. Again, it would just be so nice if you could have like a counter. Even if it doesn't mm -hmm. do much, just, just so you know. Oh, my game's crashing. Is it really? <laughs> no! Yep. 54.3, 27 on the left, and 27 on the right. Pretty much identical. So A plus B plus C gives me 305.4. Dude, I'm so jealous that you have an albino elk. Anything oh, in terms beautiful. of like the rares and stuff, dude, I love seeing those. What I think I'm going to do for everybody at home right now, I may as well do it just while we're having a look around see if we can find some more elk. I'm going to post pictures from people in the Discord and stuff that they've found while playing Call of the Wild. Because there's some really cool ones as well. And I'll try and make sure that I post everybody's name from the Discord. So if you are one of the people who is your, uh, your actual picture of the animal, then at least you get to see your own. So here you go. Here's a full list of people's animals that they found. Did you ever see the picture that I sent to you about the um, the mountain lion, the one that is absolutely jacked out of its mind? In Discord? How long ago? I don't know. I don't know if it was in Discord, if it was just I just genuinely sent it to you. It, it wasn't too long ago. I'm gonna throw a picture of up it if I can find it again for everybody watching the video. This thing is insane looking, um, but it reminded me of when like when you were telling me there was a mountain lion in the area and stuff not too long ago. Mm -hmm. um, but this if this might jog your memory a little bit. It's, it's like, you know when a chimpanzee's got no fur, and you just see, like, the bulge of muscle on muscle on muscle? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This mountain lion looks like it's had been taking steroids for the past 15 years of its life. Yep. 
Well, it's so, massive. You know, that's how animals are, especially like around farmland or especially around like uh, fish farms. Um, oh, because they got that plenty of protein and stuff like that. Yeah, and and then, then, yeah. Around fish farms, they yeah they um, like pigs. Wild pigs around fish farms are known to get giant, like hogzilla. There's big like hogzilla though, and then there's big like this thing was. It was absolute, but like there's like a pump like a, and iron. Yeah, they, genuinely, dude. It looked like it had been hitting the gym. Ooh, here comes more. Here comes more. Of the males? Yep. Nice. Another three. Another three. What's in the back there? Big one usually lags in the back. Yep. There it is. Oh, that's a two. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah. If you've got the opportunity to smack one, dude, go for it. Just so we can at least get another look at a different variation on them. Or see if there's any difference yep. on them. Try and go for one that's got like a weird looking one though, you know? Like a, okay. or an unusual looking one if you can. Yep. So while you're doing that, I'm going to talk to you guys at home. Basically, what me and Taco have been speaking about the past couple of minutes is the fact that the clue that you guys would have seen at the beginning of the video of the wolves. Tango down. Tango down. Nice. Good shot, dude. Oh, the ladies are all freaking. Oh. There's another male here, and it didn't have anything on its head. <laughs> It was like two sticks poking up. Oh, yeah, it's a little button buck. <laughs> yeah, nothing. There was nothing on it. Poor little thing. But yeah, me and Taco have been talking as to why they would put the clue, especially that clue, on Leighton Lake when there's already a ready made map in Medved. And there's another coyote again. Yep. When there's already a ready made map in Medved, which I think everybody at home watching this video now would even agree that is perfect for wolves and as you've said before in the past Teco, medved is that the game didn't like me talking about it I, the game's just crashed oh it's got like i love a, the sound that it makes yeah, it's got like a metallic noise to it oh look at that see before we came in as well i actually changed the colors of the uh the anchor points so it'd be a little bit easier to see i've set them like oh, to okay. a pink or like a yeah it's like a pink and you can actually see from here how many trees you can use. All right, there we go. So it's just snapped onto one and you can. So you can change any kind of angle, but there is a, a limit to it. Just that, that whole area that lights up is the whole anchor point. What I wouldn't mind testing, Taco, is for the simple fact of it being hilarious. Do you see this tree here? The one to the right? Yep. I'm gonna put my tree stand down there, okay? I want you to put yours literally facing mine and see if we can jump over to each other's tree stand <laughs> okay <laughs> we have to test it oh look at this oh this is super fancy look at this oh hey taco <laughs> right hello can we oh wait you can't jump out of them oh i suppose yeah that's a that's a bit of a big deal isn't it because if people just fell off their tree stands and just kept taking damage they'd be so mad <laughs> Wait, you can't even jump in them. Oh, devs. That would have been hilarious if you could make like a, a tree stand where you could jump over to your friends like that. <laughs> if the devs could actually make that happen, like make it a real thing where the animals would interact with each other. So the predators would interact with their prey. Like, you know, when you see the lions chasing whatever it may be on the savannah or the same for Pat Fernando or even on this map, like the black bears. Stuff like that, just, mm -hmm. just just chasing after a meal. I think that would be incredible. Or oh, like you just said, the uh, the males just locking antlers together. Yep, because this time of year, that's what they'd be doing. They'd be fighting for dominance and uh, the ability to uh, mate with the females. Twenty-five zero to twenty-five. Tango down. Nice. Shooting, dude. Yes. Look at the hunting pressure. Just so people know as well, if you are playing on PC, the way you get rid of these things is you press R on your keyboard and it just takes it back down. Right, let's go and see what you did. Let's go and see what that hunting pressure is like as well. Yeah, what I was kind of expecting to see was just because you shot one with a single shot as well, there might not be hunting pressure. Or if there was, it would be so faint, you know, taking it, right. taking it down or not. Oh, you got something over there too. One of the doors moving off. Yep, I see her. Can you mark her for me, please? Um, oh, I see her. I, see her. Yep, I got it. Did you shoot from a stand? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, one down. 
And that should be outside. Right, it is. We've got two separate um, areas of hunting pressure now. Oh, there we go. One of them's disappeared. You know, so the original one has disappeared. Okay, so it didn't last nearly as long. Yeah. It faded out quick. And you're right. You can see the distinction between the two. One of them is, has definitely got that much more vibrant pink. And the other one yep. is just more like a bit of a shadowing. Okay, so that's fair enough. I like that. That's cool. It's subtle, but it, it's, it's noticeable. Once you do a, you know, a little bit of research like that, do a little bit of testing, that could be, uh, it could be nice in the long run. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got some gems back. Right, so... We're in this tall grass. It's got that cool metal sound effect again. I like it. Right, how do you rotate it, though? Oh, right click, okay. So, where's the top of it? Let's throw it, like, you... there. From what I understand, you can spin 360 on these. Yep. Oh, while you're in them? Yep. Oh, that's cool. All right, let me jump up into this. Moment of truth. Oh, you can. Look, yeah, you can spin 360 on them. Wait, yep. wait, look. <laughs> Deco, have you seen what it looks like? Scope it on me. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> You know, you feel like a kid in one of those swivelly chairs, don't you, for the first time? Right. I would be. I would be up here just making all the noise in the world, just spinning <laughs> in circles. Kind of want to go for a, a long range around that guy over there. Oh, this one wants to come in a bit more. I've got a bit of a broadside on it, too. Right. Smacked him. 25 to 50. Go down. Oh, here we go. These trees work. You got one? Yeah. So what does it look like? Each tree can hold hold multiple. <laughs> Wait, can it really? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. You've got like different but multiple anchor points. Can we get yep. it right in the middle so I can hide like there? Oh yeah, look at this. I'm invisible. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd it go? <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, Chat. what do we Where get over go? this side of the map? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> yeah, there, there's there's no all. animals over here, is there? Like, there's... Un unless they've changed the spawns of some of them, so they do pass through here. They may. I mean, we haven't tested it long enough to see if other trees around the map can support it like these can. It's cool the fact that they've right. thought about different... Or multiple anchor points on one tree. But... Yeah, I like that. I don't think it's really necessary on Savannah anyway. I think you've got plenty of flat land. You don't really need the tree stands. The tripods... Yeah, I stay away from coasts anyways, for the most part. The tripods themselves will be useful, but I don't think I can see myself using the tree stands on Savannah. Got to test the other maps, though. Teco, what do you think about wolves? Are they coming soon? I'm putting you on the spot, dude. I think so. I think uh, within uh, a month or so, I think. You think? What reserve will yeah, we get yeah. in my Medved? It's got to be on the snowy map, I right? I hope so. I hope so. Medved needs more love. Everybody watching the video, I want you all to get super hyped. We're getting wolves, guys. Nothing's confirmed, but it's what my heart tells me. We're getting wolves. I can finally be in the movie The Grey, and I'm going to bore you to death with it, Tackle, until you watch the movie. That's that's the truth. You're going to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I, I watched it. I watched it already. <laughs> you haven't watched it. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to end. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.